good, people? I hope everyone's doing all right. This is the Teddy Rose Show. I'm Theodore, and as always, thank you so much for watching. In this episode, Greta's gonna get some breaks, some suspension, uh, an E28 M5 sway bar upgrade. Shway, shway. So I can shwayzy. This started out with having some bad uh, controlled thrust arms on the passenger side, spiraled into me doing an E28 M5 sway bar and some brakes and the rest of the stuff. Anyways, you get the point. Thank you so much for tuning in. And like always, I'm just gonna roll right into it. Yeah, so this front passenger ball joint on this control arm is junk. It makes it tough to go over 40 miles an hour. Anyways, uh, the E28 and E24 have two control arms, or thrust arm, wishbone, whatever you want to call them. And while I've got the car on the lift, I just really want to try and take care of as much of the suspension as possible. So I'm also going to put some lowering springs on the front. Um, like I said, the M5 sway bar, so I need to get all the sockets, ratchets, wrenches, because I'm also taking care of the brakes, so line wrenches. Yeah, it's time to get to work. I've got 19, 22, 17, 15, 14, 13, 10. I feel like I'm counting down.
All right, so to put an E28 M5 sway bar on a non-M5, you need something like this to weld into the frame of the car. It's got a nice little taper here at the end. Bounce right there on the body. Uh, this is something that my father made. He made these weld-in pieces to install E28 M5 sway bars on E28s years ago, like in the 90s when I was a kid. And uh, basically what it is, is there's a through hole here, so that way you put an eight mil bolt in here, fastens to the original nut that's welded to the body, and then there's a threaded hole here, so that way you can use the traditional uh, sway bar mount. It's got two bolts instead of that nasty one bolt with a clip on the back side. So it's a way better improvement, and I'm glad my father made these. There happened to be a set left over from years ago when you used to do suspension. And uh, yeah, I got lucky on that one, huh? The E28 524TD front sway bar measures in at 19 millimeters or three quarters of an inch. And this M5 sway bar, 25 millimeters or an inch, however you want to look at it. Also, I got some universal polyurethane mounts, uh, one inch, pretty easy to find online to go with it. I like the feel of a bigger sway bar in the front of a car. So this is my preference. I'm not trying to preach it to everybody, to each their own. Also, I've got a trunk here that's got some nasty leaks. I've dug out the seal, and I'm going to have to fix some of this rust. And I'm trying to come up with a game plan here, but yeah, that's what happens when you get cars that sit for a while. You end up with all kinds of other new issues to fix. So just another new problem to tackle, no big deal. came off super easy. The side is being a bitch. tie rods that I got didn't come with any new nuts and this old school E28 has got castle nuts I'm gonna be saying nuts a lot with a cotter pin yeah yeah I, I'm gonna end up in a situation here because I don't have new hardware where I'm gonna end up reusing the nuts and uh, these new tie rods don't have a hole for the cotter pin so Loctite's in my future I'm gonna have to find some new hardware I don't, I don't think I like where this is going <laughs> anyways doing my suspension a um, couple examples here are the strut mounts I ordered the wrong front and rear strut mounts for the front had I just popped off the dust shield that protects the bearing I would have known which ones to order but I probably wouldn't have ordered the one on the left that's a little more than I, what I was willing to pay for a strut mount and I also had to get the right spring retainer that's not too bad now, this set me back on some time the rear the problem with the rear was the inside diameter, while well, it was too small, and also the bolt holes were further out. So I had to dig out the rear, um, the inside hole, had to wallow it out, and I also had to slot the holes sort of in to be able to get the rear mount to fit. 
So yeah, note to self, learn from my mistake, get the correct parts. Or if you want to save some money, get the wrong parts and spend more time. <laughs>
mistakes I've created. So when I made the exhaust system, I should have given myself plenty of room for the M5 sway bar, or I should have done the M5 sway bar before I did the exhaust system. Either way, the sway bar was rubbing the exhaust, and I had to grab some chunks of aluminum, drill some holes, space that bad boy away from it. Now, you live and learn, and we'll see how this temporary fix goes. Pray, but tonight I'm on my knees, yeah. I need to hear the sounds that recognize the pain in me, yeah I let the melody shine, let it cleanse my mind I feel free now But the airways are clean and there's nobody singing to me Oh 